Welcome to Edinburgh Castle. My name's Kevin Quantum, I'm a magician and a scientist, and we've all had a tough time these last few months, but the country is finally starting to open up, and we can all look forward now to enjoying more of one another's company and savouring the enjoyment of live performance once again. Now to mark the occasion, I'd like to use science to represent that hope and our connections to one another in a dramatic and unusual way. Normally, these streets would be buzzing with light, but we've all had to stay indoors more than we would have wished, and we've come to appreciate the things that give life meaning. Things like theatres, tourist attractions, city festivals, the Edinburgh International Military Tattoo. But now there is hope, a light at the end of a very long tunnel. This is the famous one o'clock gun. Now these days it's fired daily out of tradition, but 150 years ago, it connected the castle to Leith docks, allowing ship's captains to set the time on their chronometers. Now I wonder if they realized the sound wave took 10 seconds to travel from the castle all the way down to Leith. Sergeant Beveridge is in charge of making sure the cannon fires at exactly the right time. It brings everybody together at one o'clock, because especially the people that live here, they wouldn't notice if the gun never fired. Especially now, with the COVID, it's a lot quieter in Edinburgh. The ambient noise is a lot quieter. And people are now actually in Princess Street Gardens and going, oh, what's that one o'clock gun? And I've actually had friends phone me up straight after the gun's fired and said, you've just given me the fright of my life. And they're people that live in Edinburgh as well. Now this job is fantastic for me because I'm a gunner and I get to fire the gun, a gun, every day. Even better than that, I'm meeting different people and tourists. For the last year, I've not been able to do that. Even when we had the castle open last summer, we had to keep social distancing. I couldn't do my speech because you couldn't raise your voice in front of people. You couldn't do the photographs because they had to be behind the chains. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to them coming back. The sound wave from the gun travels across the city in the same way a ripple travels from the point at which you drop a pebble into a pond. The one o'clock gun sound wave travels at the speed of sound, which is just under 800 miles per hour, also known as Mach 1, named after Austrian physicist Ernst Mach. But Mach is doubly connected to this courageous feat of science and magic. 150 years ago, around the same time the one o'clock gun tradition began, he also created the harmonic pendulum, a beautiful hypnotic visualization of harmony. I realised, by observing these patterns, that the sequence seemed to be exactly the same every single time. In theory, an object could journey from one end to the other through the pendula without being hit. Whilst Max's classroom version could fit on a desk, this is a supersized industrial version that could be deadly. I've calculated the exact moment that I can walk through these cannonballs unharmed. I'm going to attempt to coincide the moment of my journey through to the other side with the firing of the one o'clock gun. And as we all know, Sergeant Beveridge is always on time. Now for me, safety is just a few short moments away. I'm gonna rely on science, on timing, on self-belief to get me through to safety. Now if I get this right, I'll emerge unscathed. However, if I'm off, well as we've seen, these cannonballs can do real damage. Now we know that you want a bit of drama, so today, adding yet another element of danger, we will set these cannonballs on fire. And I'm going to be blindfolded.
Three, two, one, go! It's been a tough 12 months, but thanks to science, we're almost through it. Life as we know it is returning. Tourist attractions are opening up. Theatres and sporting events will soon follow. It's up to us to build it, but when we do, I hope you'll come.